Uh, hey guys, Uncle Twelve here, and I am here to play to play the main game that was that inspired Undertale's creation officially by Toby Fox. I mean, pretty much all of it has been inspired by Toby Fox. Wait, why am I expanding it? I can't expand it. So there, there. Um. So yeah, I am here to play. Earthbound. Um, I've never played this game before, and I don't have the game, so I just downloaded it and I'm gonna play it. So, Earthbound. I haven't really gotten into it really much. I don't know the controls of this. I know the opening. Oh. So it's that. It. Well, I don't know. Should I name him Ness? No. Mm. What am I doing? Okay. I should name him who he really is. This is who he really is. Ness is Sans. Sans is Ness. Name your pet. Favorite home name food. What's your favorite thing? One of the only reasons why I'm playing this is because it has like one of the best soundtracks. The year is 1990X. Own at a small town in Eagleland. Yes, that's my house. Yep, I only Saints' house. I only played the beginning of this game. So my stepdad John has a little thing called a Dingo Digital. It's like a portable device thing that plays ROMs. I'm just going to Paula's room first. No, that is on Paula. What am I doing? Hey, bro, did the sound wake you up? Are you freaked out? Let's crack back inside. Crack, crack back. Okay, go outside. Thought it hurts a tiny bit. What's that noise? Sans, you don't seem scared. Are you nuts? Now you want to go check it out? Okay, you'll sneak out of your room anyway, even if I have to not to. At least change out your DMs before you go. Oh, 
I forgot to save. I have to go see what it is. <coughs> I know that much that I have to go up here. I kind of already know what happens around here because I played the start of the game. When it turned morning, that's how far I got. Let me rub neck and you're getting in the cops. Oops, I mean the officer's way. You can go home now. Tomorrow, I, Pokey, will show you more about the strange meteorite. Come in here, but you're bugging the officers. Ooh. <coughs> There's a red bull inside. The sand takes it. <coughs> As you can see, I got a new microphone. It stands on a stand. <coughs> the audio, I mean, me speaking, is like the highest quality of me of me speaking welcome home Sands it's not necessary to talk about it tonight it's late let's get off to bed now later that night I'll be right back, guys. Ah, I can't get out. Alright, there we go. Let's get back to the game. Somebody's knocking out the door. I already know who it is, but I'm not saying it yet. My land, who could be knocking out the door at this time of night? Would you answer it? It's Pokey. Hey, l listen to what I got to say. When I took Picky to the to where the to the place where the meteorite landed. Oh, getting your man looking like lovely as usual. <laughs> I guess he's got a little crush on his mom. Anyway, as I was saying, the police re that were guarding the meteorite landing left su suddenly to deal with the sharks. You know the sharks, right? They're the local ruffians, and they were going really going wild. Suddenly, I noticed that Piggy was gone. Other than the cops, it certainly wasn't my fault at all. When my dad gets back, I know I'm gonna get it. My bestest friend, won't you help me fight fight Pinky? Yo! Yeah. If you refuse me, I'll say something that that'll cut you like a knife. Will you come with me? No. Oh, okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Would you please come with me? Yes. If you refuse me, I'll say something that'll cut you on Will you come with me? Okay, I won't say anything to hurt you. Wait, what? I was pressing the wrong button. Let me say goodbye to your mom. Don't you agree, man? No, no, the dog is unreliable. You should take Toby along. The crack back in to t Tracy's room could help at out at a time like this. No matter what anyone says, you're a courageous, strong boy. You're my very own natural born fighter. Go go far. Remember to go for it. But I think you should change out your games before you leave. Let me see if I can lock the door. Sorry, my microphone fell. You want me to go with you? Yes, I guess I have no choice. Let's go. Toby joins you. Yes. Okay, that's good. Be sure to pay attention to details like that. All right, you go on in front, and I'll follow you out of safe distance. Let's get going. Pokey joins you.
Okay, I'm back. Okay, cracked back. Gotta equip that. No pro- oh. Dancing is one. Hello, it's your dad. Work to exhaustion when you're young. Have you ever heard of a weird saying like this? Just remember, I'm always behind you 100%. Don't be afraid. Know that you're brave. You can do it. Don't forget to call me periodically during your adventure. You can make a record of your progress when you call me. We have deposited $30 into your bank account. Do you have any, your ATM card? Withdraw your money from an any cash machine and buy whatever you need. Good luck, my boy. I feel like such a hero. Well, I'm the father of a hero, at least. Ha ha ha. Slam beep. Sans is dead. Well, <laughs> only XP to get to the next level. Sans 4. Anyway, what do you need from me? Well, then, your old dad was. I've created a record of your adventure to this point. Good night, sleep tight. Sans, you like to work hard just like your mother, but I don't think it's good to work hard. Too hard. Oh god, it's a snake. Yay! I beat my first enemy. I hate getting in battle with enemies, so I have to hide from them. Not oh, frick, no. I don't want you to know. Uh -uh. But couldn't. Oh. I'm gonna die. Come on, yay! It's not the present. There's a cookie. Since the since that was an L2, offense went, went up by two. Maximum HP went up by one. Maximum PP went up by one. Sans realized the power of life up A. Mm. Ah! Mm. Dang it. Yeah, I got a cookie. Is this going to be such a scary place? I wouldn't have come along. I'm out of here. Well, oh, he woke me up. Pokey, I've been looking all over for you. You see, Pokey got scared and ran away. Well, I'm glad that you're okay at least. Let's go home now. I bet mom and dad were already sick about us. Geez, sometimes I wonder which one of us is real, big brother. Joined you. I'm saying it's here, but I think that sounds like a beef line run. No. Oh, come on, you must hear it. I do now. It's Buzz Buzz. A B I am not. I'm from 10 years in the future, and. In the future, all is, all is devastation. Gygus, the universal cosmic destroyer, sent all to the horror of eternal darkness. 
However, you must listen. Where I am from, there is a well-known legend that has been handed down from ancient times. It says, when the chosen boy reaches the point, he will find the light. The passing of time will shadow the nightmare rock and will reveal the path of light. You see, it is my opinion to hear that boy sayings. This I believe. Gagas' mon monster's plan must have been set in motion somewhere on Earth. If you start to confront the enemy immediately, you may have time to counter the er evil intentions of Gagas. Three three things are, are of the imp uh, most importance. Wisdom, courage, and friendship. The ancients from London and the end of time saw three boys and a girl who defeat Gagas. I will tell you more later. Go now, and do not be anxious about the future. You have much work to do, Sands. Did you listen to what I told you? Yes. Thank you for listening to my long story. You're as exceptional as I expect you to be. Buzz Buzz now joins you. Yeah. Sands, it looks like you're really in a lot of trouble this time. Three boys, he said. Uh, not one of those three, am I? Because I'm not into this thing at all. Jeez, my heart's almost finally right out of my chest. Wrong way. Hope I don't encounter any monsters. I'm gonna encounter at least one. This is the boring part of the game. It's been a long time, Buzz Buzz. You've been successful at foiling Master Gagas' plans, but Buzz Buzz, you must not surrender. You're no longer a hero, but just a useless insect. Let's stomp you hard! The Starman Jr. walk away. I'm now level three. Woo! I was taking a, taking a big chance there. He came from ten years in the future to kill me, so he can't relax yet. From now on, you will be fighting enemies sent by Gygus, as well as humans who, th who who have evil thoughts. They'll definitely make trouble during your adventure. Animals are also becoming violent due to Gygus's influence over the evil in their minds. It's the truth. So listen. I'm not talking to the mom, because she's stupid. I'm really sorry that my kids trouble you much. I'm like, Both of you are really going to get it now. <laughs> By the way, I'd be happy if you left sometime soon. I'm tired of your family living next door. You loaned your father a lot of money may have been a thousand hundred thousand dollars or more well I guess it really could have been less because of the loan my fam because of the loan my family and I now live in poverty my husband is much too lenient with children oh well nice guys finish last that's the story of her life hey and things don't be to smash your guts out bye bye family. <gasps> I was much weaker than I thought. So you must not begin your adventure. See you. Oh, just remembered. Listen to my final words. 
to defeat Gygus, your own power must unite with the Earth's. The Earth will then channel your power and multiply it. There are eight points that you must visit. Make these places your own. Each of these locations is your sanctuary. One of them is near Onet. It is called Giant Step. Go there first. Do you understand? Alright. You're a very intelligent young man. And oh, the pain! Everything is getting dark. Uh... Before I pass on, I want to give you something. It is the soundstone. You can record the melodies from the eight your sanctuary locations to the stone. It is an awesome item. By the way, I'm, I'm almost gone. But did you want to hear the story one more time? Um. But how is he talking this much if he's dying? It's already dawn outside, but it doesn't matter to me. I'm fading fast. Ah! <laughs> buzz Buzz died. <laughs> Sand's got the sounds done. Okay, bye. Is that picture guy? Yep. Since you're taking instantly, I'm a ph photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Little camera and ready, say fuzzy pickles. Wow, what a great photograph! It'll always bring back the fondest memories. Can I save now? Why does that beginning of that song sound like snow halation? Eat some pizza and screw up the bed. I can't remember what I'm supposed to do now. With everything I can to help you. Good luck in your adventure. You make a hunger long I see your cookie. Yeah, okay. You can also leave anything you don't need with me. You want me to hang on something? Be careful. Love you. Oh god, a dog. But I didn't even touch him. Die. Yay. Maybe I should go over to Pokey's house. This is very soft hearted. My dad really got after me. He's like, no dessert for the rest of his decade. Oh, I don't want to look in a mirror anymore. Maybe I should go to that meteorite. No, it's not that way. First I should go to the meteorite, and then I should go to somewhere else, maybe. There's a butterfly. And a dog. Aww. I'm gonna try to get away, but couldn't. Aww. Yay. I 
How many dogs are there? I still haven't forgotten about, um, still haven't forgotten about Pokemon Emerald hacking. My god, how fast does it go? Like a Sonic Snake. Sonic Snake. Jeez. I got one execution point. Caution, there's still lots of fires burning here. It's hot. Oh god, another one. I die. Yeah, I beat it. This is just gonna about to end it. Like right here. Or I get somewhere I haven't been before. I haven't been around this area. There's a gate. I'm not at public library, use the library more. There's a person. The library is a nice place to learn stuff. We got a lot of information about Earthbound. You can borrow maps for nothing. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. I should go this way, maybe. Is Mo? Come on. Can I move? I got another snake. I killed the snake. I brutally killed the snake. I brutally murdered it. What place is that? I don't care. The flowers in the garden are representative of those in your heart. Treat them both nice. I'm gonna beautiful for Olinette, the wildflower of England. England. A girl named Paula lives in Tucson. Her mother runs preschool out of her home. I can't remember the name of the school, but I heard Paula's really special. Why is she special? I forgot to ask. Well. Drugstore.
Um, hello, this is S. Cargo Express. Your delivery charge is 18. You can go to the bell, right? Wait just a second. Bad guys. Yes, man, Junior. I got die. I died. I forgot to save. <laughs> I forgot to save. Oh. So, after I save, there. Well, okay, guys. That's gonna be the episode. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want me to do anything more. So, alright, guys. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Bye.